Hello guys and welcome to the demonstration video of the Mesh Slicer add-on for Blender. To install the add-on, go to Edit, then Pre-references, then Add-on, and go to the path where the add-on was downloaded. Select it and press Install Add-on. Now enable the checkbox to activate it. And before we close this window, go here and save the pre-references settings. After the installation, the add-on will come here in the side menu of the 3D viewport. And to show this menu, just press N. So now we can see the Mesh Slicer add-on options here. I'm going now to slice this table object and make it as a parametric design. Before slicing any mesh, there are some requirements that we need to know. The first one is we need to select only one 3D mesh. The 3D mesh has to be manifold, that means does not have any inner or overlapping faces. To start the slicing, we select first the 3D mesh. And here I set the slices number and the space between the slices. And press slice button. This operation it may take some time, especially if the mesh is very high poly. As we can see, the add-on create the slices as per our 3D object, but we notice here some slices does not fit properly with the 3D object. And to correct this, we just press S and Y to scale them on the Y axis. Now all the slices are corrected and fitted exactly as per our 3D mesh. I can select this bed slice and delete it. Now, if I'm going to create a 3D visualization of this table, I will select only one face and I'll give it a thickness by adding a solidify modifier. After getting the right thickness on, on this slice, I will apply this thickness on the rest of the slices by selecting them and press Ctrl L and choose modifiers. As we can see now, all the slices has the same thickness and we can see this nice parametric design of this table. And this is how it look like after adding a material and lighting. Now, if I'm going to execute and cut this uh, parametric design table on the CNC machine, I will select one face and remove the solidify modifier. I select all the slices and I click Ctrl L and I choose modifiers. Now we need to convert all these slices to curves. To do that, I select only one slice and I press apply. Now all the slices are vector curves, so we can export them as SVG and import them in any vector software such as Inkscape, Illustrator or Corel Draw. To export them as SVG, I will select all the slices. I click here and I choose the folder path. I give it a name and I press Export SVG. Now I go to the EI and I open the SVG file. As you can see, all the slices are coming here on top of each other. I hold the Shift key and I will scale them and rotate them. Now if I open the layer, I can see all the slices are ordered by name. So this helps us to execute and cut them one by one by order. So this is the end of the demonstration of this video. I hope you guys found this add-on useful and save a lot of time to create the parametric design. If any feedback, 
from you guys or any suggestion please let us know in the comments thank you and goodbye